Hello folks, mm, today I'm going to solve an example from power series. So, uh, it's a common example, it's just a sum, so n starts from 1 up to infinity, you have uh, x minus 3 to the power n divided by n plus 3 times 2 to the power n. And uh, the problem is this, of course, I mean, you'll now find the radius of conversions, R and I, find the interval of conversions. Of, uh, of this given series. And, uh, you know, for these type of problems, usually, I mean, not maybe usually all the time you use the ratio test or the root test. I mean, how do we check this? I mean, you really use the root test if you have all exponential type functions. I'm not saying just the exponential function, but for example, you have all functions of power n, like n to the n, x minus 3 to the n, to 2 to the n, then you may use the root test. But in this problem, you see there's a polynomial, or if there's a factorial, then uh, the, the uh, ratio test will fit, fits better. So here we go. We use we use the ratio test. Ratio test, and we look for a n plus one over a n. And uh, if we write a n plus one, that will be x minus three to the power n plus one divided by that will be n plus four times two to the power n plus one. You see n plus four because you're you're replacing n by n plus one. And at the bottom, we have x minus 3 to the power n divided by n plus 3 times 2 to the power n. So let's just do the division. So we have x minus 3 to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 4 times 2 to the power n plus 1 multiplied by, we replace and multiply, so it's n plus 3 times 2 to the power n divided by x minus 3 to the power n. So this is what we have. Now, we look for the cancellations and you see here we have a 2 to the power n. That can be, I mean, that's just, you see that's just 2 to the n plus 1 is simply 2 to the n times 2. I mean, just, you know this, uh, it's so clear. It's like 2 to the 1, which is just 2. So, this one will cancel by 2 to the n here, and a 2 will remain at the bottom. There's a 2 at the bottom. And then x minus 3 to the power n plus 1 will cancel by x minus 3 to the n, and we're going to get an x minus 3 at the top. And the, for the polynomials, sometimes, really we can see those type of mistakes, but n plus 3 and n, n, n plus 3 and n plus 4, they do not cancel, there's an, there's an addition between them. Well, you will see if you if you replace n by n plus 1 in a polynomial, the limit um, will not change. So the limit, limit will be 1, basically, it will be always 1. And uh, if we write this, that will be x minus 3, an absolute value at the top, and there is a, there is a 2 at the bottom, and here we have an n plus 3 over n plus 4. And as, as as you can see this, n plus 3 over n plus 4, I mean, you, you're taking the limit as n goes to infinity, and you see the largest powers, the largest powers of n is just n itself. You can use a L'Hopital rule, or you can use this fact, you can divide both sides by n, both top and the bottom by n, but you will see this limit will be just 1, as n goes to infinity. So if you take the limit of the whole thing, as n goes to infinity, the limit will be basically absolute value of x minus 3 over 2, because that's just a constant in terms of n. So the variable, the one that you're taking the limit with respect to, is just simply n. So, we just get absolute value of x minus 3 over 2. And by ratio test, if this is less than 1, then it's conversion, or 
absolutely convergent. If it's greater than 1, then it's divergent. And if it's equal to 1, then we have no conclusion. So you can now here solve any of them. Like if you want, you can solve the equation. If you want, you can solve the inequality. But um, I prefer the inequality. I mean, uh, I prefer to use the inequality x minus 3 divided by 2 is less than 1. And if I multiply both sides by 2, I get x minus 3 is just less than 2 in absolute value. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you just how we get the um, radius in a minute. But we have x minus 3 less than 2 and then greater than negative 2. And I added 3 to all three sides and I get 1 less than x less than 5. So this is what we get. You can draw this on the real number line. We have 1 here. We have 5 here. As you see, the center of the series is just 3. Because we have x minus 3 as the power series. If you just go back, you see it's just the powers of x minus 3. So the center is just 3. And we see, we see this clearly. Once we, once we come up to this point, it's just the midpoint of 1, 5. And by the way, you see the radius is just the distance from the center to the end points, which is just r equals to 2. The right side and the left is left side. And if you if you really realize just one, one theorem given about the power series, once we come at this inequality by using the ratio test, the number that you obtain at x minus a absolute value less than r that gives you the radius of convergence so here too you can find it from this way as well the radius will be simply just here which is r which will be just 2 in this case which comes from this part so if you find it out by using the ratio test that your absolute value of x minus a is less than an r that r is just really your radius but of course you can find it by using the interval as well so we know that within these two numbers it's just convergent outside of 1 and 5 it's diversion and at 1 and 5 1 and 5 we have no conclusion so these are the endpoints but this is just by using the ratio test so now for the endpoints we have to just check it separately so we have to check that separately let's just do that in another page and um, first Let's say first let me just write down the series. So it says touch from one up to infinity. That was uh x minus three to the power n divided by m plus three times two to the power n. For the end points, first end point, what if x equals one? So you see if x equals one, we get sum n starts from one up to infinity, negative two to the n divided by m plus 3 times 2 to the n. Please be careful with the negatives. I mean, if I plug in 1 here, you see if I plug in a 1 here, I'm going to get negative 2. And negative 2 to the n. I can write this negative 2 to the n as negative 1 to the n times 2 to the n. And you see, once you write it like that, these 2 to the n's will cancel. So it is a simple, simple notation. Your power series is just n starts from, I mean, your series it's just n starts from 1 up to infinity, negative 1 to the n over n plus 3. As you see, this is an alternating series. And um, for this problem, alternating series test will fit in an alternating series. And I just write this as AST. Your BN is simply 1 over n plus 3. And you can definitely see the limit of BN which is limit of 1 over n plus 3 is just 0. And is it decreasing? As a second question, you can write down the function corresponding function of bn, which is uh, x plus 3 to the power of negative 1. And if you look at f prime of x, which is negative 1 times x plus 3 to the power of negative 2. And just please be careful, here x's are larger than or equal 1, because n starts by 1, so you can just consider that function. This is negative, so f is decreasing, that means 
Bn is decreasing. So um, by alternating series test, our series, our power series, I can say, is convergent at x equals 1. So this is what we know for x equals 1. Now let's check the other endpoint. What if x equals 5? So in this case, we get the sum n stretched from 1 up to infinity, 2 to the n, divided by n plus 3 times 2 to the n. And you see that the cancellation is so obvious now. 2 to the n's will cancel. And we get sum 1 over n plus 3, n stretched from 1 up to infinity. And interestingly, like this one, will the regular comparison test will not work uh, because of n plus 3. But you see you can compare this by using, uh, let me just write that, by using limit comparison test. You have a polynomial function, and I just write this as LCT, limit comparison test with Bn equals 1 over n. So this is really, this is my An. And we know the info about sum of 1 over n. This is divergent. Why? I mean, you can just say this is harmonic series. Or we can just say this is a P series uh, with P equals 1. So it's divergent. And the limit comparison, the limit comparison test it says you take the limit of An over Bn. So if I take the limit of An over Bn, I have limit um, 1 over n plus 3 divided by 1 over n. So I flip and multiply and I get limit n over n plus 3. And as you see, the degrees are same. Leading coefficients, leading terms are same. So as n goes to infinity, this limit will be 1. It's a positive number. And if you want, you can use the L'Hopital's rule. If you want, you can divide everything by n to see this clearly. But it's, it's a straightforward limit. So if it says positive, then you remember the limit comparison, or the conclusion of limit comparison test. It says if it's a positive number, then they have, they both, the both series have the same behavior. They are either both convergent or divergent. Here, 1 over n, you see 1 over n is divergent, is a sum, so that means this series is divergent as well. So, we can just say our series is divergent if x equals 5. So if we find this out, it's convergent at convergent at x equals 1 and it's divergent at x equals 5. So we can write i, the interval of convergence, as 1 is included with the bracket, 5 is excluded. So this is the interval of convergence. And as you see in these problems, the strategy, the, the procedure that you apply is straightforward. You either apply the ratio test and the root test, although the problem is long, you, you just use the ratio test and the root test or the root test to determine the interval first and the endpoints and when it's convergent inside the endpoint and outside it's divergent. Then you check the endpoints separately. And once you check them, You'll probably come up with something really straightforward, not something tricky, that tricky, I can just say. But um, just be careful, still you need to know the previous tests um, that was covered. So you have to know the alternating series test, limit comparison or comparison, and what about like P-series and so on, but some simple uh, stuff that you have to know just to get these, these um, endpoint parts uh, correct okay so thanks for watching and hope this will help you and bye